today on record box for beginners and we're using version 7.1 this is how you find out which version you have 7.1.1.0302 again it's help and then about record box will give you your version today we're going to talk about playlists so if you don't have any music pulled in yet i do have a video showing you how to pull music in to your record box software and analyze it you'll want to do that first uh, but once your music is in here and you're ready to make some playlists here's how you do it up at the top uh, well, first, actually, before I even get to that, this is the collection view. So this is everything in your collection. So this is why you see a bunch of stuff down here that I would never play. Um, what I have done, uh, you can see that there's right at 20,000 songs in here. To create a collection, more or less, that has um, fewer songs, fewer tracks in it, which is a little uh, more wieldy, a little less unwieldy, wieldy, um, Go to the playlist and then you'll see right here a bridge collection and then i've got 8500 songs in here so these are songs that are more likely to be played um the the other ones the only reason i keep all those in there is just in case i get that weird situation or that weird request uh, you know how that goes so in the abridged collection which is the first playlist i created um so we're in that now um when you go to your playlist which is this icon right here when you first start up it's going to look probably like this that you don't you won't have anything in there so uh go ahead and expand mine here and so to create a playlist up here at the top you can create new playlists create new intelligent playlists which we'll go over that later so let's just go with create new playlists and here it is so just pretend all these are not here and you'll see your first playlist up right here so you can go ahead and make this um you know whatever you want it to be dance music whatever however you want to organize your um your music so in order to put songs into your playlist let's say you're looking at your collection here and we just want to do uh, we're going to do rhythm and blues and soul so we're just going to drop those in there just like that uh, you can do them one at a time you can drag them right into there uh, if you go through here and you want to cherry pick some songs so you want to pick this one and then this one and then this one and then you can right click i, I was holding down the control key while i was clicking on the different tracks right click and then go up to add the playlist and then you can add them to the playlist that you just created and i must have clicked on one i've already put in there so now we go back to dance and there's all the tracks we just added so again if you're looking at your collection or your your big playlist like i did you know if you want to have one folder or one playlist that has all your frequently played tracks in it you can hold down the shift and collect several at one time or you can use the control key to select and deselect whichever ones you want and then right click and go up to add to playlist and then you'll have all of your playlists right here so you just select which one you want to drop them in uh, let's see here if you're in your playlist view and let's say that you decide that you want this is a playlist right here dance let's say that you want to create a dance folder and then underneath that you're gonna have you know like maybe um, EDM country um, you know uh, hip-hop whatever different genres in within dance so what you would do is um, you go back up here and click right click and then new folder click on new folder and then so we're going to call this dance it probably won't let me do it yeah it doesn't because you already have a playlist named dance so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on this i'm going to make this salsa so i'm just going to say this is going to be salsa dance and it's going to go under our main dance folder so now i can change this to dance well no nope, because i already have a dance folder in mine that's right let's just call it um dancing there we go so now I can take this salsa folder. So let's just pretend this is all salsa music and I can drag it up into the dancing folder. So now I've got my dancing folder and then I can add all the different playlists I want under here for the different uh, styles and genre of dance music. Let's see, I think that pretty well covers how to start the playlist or how to begin it. Uh, another thing we have is if you go up here, uh, create new intelligent playlist, right? Choose intelligent playlists. And then we're going to call this Al Green because we like Al Green. And so here is how you set up what you want in the Intelligent Playlist. So you can choose the artist, the track, obviously, and then genre, whatever, whatever you want to make in your Intelligent Playlist. Here's where you can choose equals, not equals, contains, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, and then over here you can add, you know, so if we wanted to make this all Al Green, 
we would just do all Al Green. So playlist name is Al Green, artist equals Al Green, okay. And then there is our intelligent playlist that has all of the Al Green tracks that I have on my, uh, on my hard drive. Let's see, you can do the same thing with, I'll just do another one, new intelligent playlist. And uh, we're gonna call this one uh, Salsa. And let's see if I have anything salsa under genre. No, I don't have, I think I have them uh, tagged as salsa. Yeah, so if I go to uh, a bridge collection over here, and then if I go to my track filter, there it is. So, so yeah, I have them tagged. I don't have them, um, genre is Latinx. That's my overarching folder or my top folder. And then, you know, salsa, merengue, reggaeton, whatever I put in separate categories underneath that head Latinx folder. And it may or may not be the right way to do it, but that's just how I do it. I have, you see, I've got pop genres over here. So if you wanted to create an intelligent playlist with all pop, so we'll just call this pop. And then down here, you would change it to genre equals and then pop right here and OK. And then here is our playlist with all of the pop tracks in there. So that's um, basically how you start using playlists, how you create them. Uh, if you want to get rid of one, so I'm going to get rid of these ones I just made. Um, you could just click delete playlist. It'll give you a warning right here. So uh, when you are deleting a track after just your collection, but also from the hard drive, it'll give you a second warning and it'll be in red down here. So um, this is just deleting a playlist. You're not deleting any tracks. So yes, I want to get rid of that. The ones I just made, dancing, right click again, delete the folder. It'll ask you, are you sure? Yes. And that's that. So hope that helps. Um, if you like this kind of video, if this was helpful, then if you would like and subscribe, that would be great. And I'll keep making these beginner level videos. Thanks for sticking around and hopefully see you on the next one.